Now, you guys know tethering, right? We love tethering. Um, tethering makes it possible to show all your images to your client or your students on location. The only problem is you need cables. Now cables, well, we love the tether tool stuff and it works flawlessly. You have these boosters for USB 3 so you can go long distances, but sometimes, well, hanging on a cable isn't perfect. And sometimes you don't need the raw files, right? Because, well, if you have the raw files on your desktop, you can start editing right away. But in most locations where we, for example, do workshops, it's not necessary to have the raw files. So I would love to have a wireless solution. Now, as you know, I shoot Sony, right? And I love their cameras. But sometimes you just feel a little bit left out. For example, if you look at Canon and Nikon, they have these beautiful solutions called Cam Ranger and a lot of other different options. But for Sony, yeah, well, there is no solution, I thought. So I want to share today something about tethering with Wi-Fi. Now, this is an A7R2. It's a really cool camera. It works great has big megapixels, so big files. The problem however with big files is transfer them via Wi-Fi could be a problem. So if you want to shoot with Wi-Fi with a camera like this, make sure that you set your camera on RAW and JPEG and only use the JPEGs. Now I hear you saying, Frank, JPEGs? Don't worry, we still shoot the RAWs on the card, but only the JPEGs go through the air, through somewhere, but where? because there's no solution for Sony, right? And that's when I found the guys from QDSLR. And there are the options also, of course. Now, what do you need? In the Sony, there's actually an app called Smart Remote. Now, I already activated on this Sony. And you can shoot to your iPad or your iPhone. That's no problem at all, I hear you say. We already knew that, Frank. I know, but maybe you didn't know this. Watch this, I'm gonna switch to another camera. And you're now going to actually see my laptop. You see the laptop here? So we switch and there we go. Now watch this. I make a picture of one of our cameras. And like a second later, you will see on my MacBook Pro, you will see the image appearing. Now how did I do that? Because there's no cable connected, right? And I just take the shot. And a second later, there is the image on my laptop. So what did I do? Well, I actually ran the, sm the smart control option from Sony, so the remote control. And on the computer, I have a beta version of the QDSLR desktop. You can download that one for free from their website. Now, this works pretty well. What I would like to do is actually connect my Sony via a cable to something like a Cam Ranger, and we actually ordered already a TP-Link router to see if we can use that software to actually go from USB to Wi-Fi and then to a computer. The nice thing about the software I'm using now, the QDSLR dashboard, is actually that you see small previews, but they do it widescreen. You can also couple it to Capture One. The problem, however, if you couple it to Capture One, is that you only see small previews, and their software actually makes it big. So, you can now shoot with Wi-Fi, which is Sony, but there's more. Now, the next step. For the next step, I'm going to switch very quickly over to my normal network. Now, I have to make a connection with my Synology NAS. Perfect. And to photo. Now, if you are using, like me, your iPhone sometimes for, for example, your workshop, so you want to show people how it works to shoot a picture with your iPhone and that the iPhone is a great camera, you can of course show it on your iPhone. Like, yeah, you see this picture I shot on my iPhone, really cool. And well, that doesn't work, right? You want also these images to transfer straight to your computer so you can show those images. Now, you can use Dropbox or you can use other solutions that are online. The problem with online is if you have internet like we have here, it takes a long time before it actually ends up online and then it has to download again. Now, if you have a Synology NAS, and I don't know if there are other solutions for other NASs, but for Synology it works perfectly, there's a software version that's actually called DS Photo, and I'm going to show you that very quickly. So this is the DS Photo software, so I'm just going to zoom in. Now, I have the photo backup on auto. So that actually means that every image that comes in on my iPhone I will actually upload to my Synology NAS to a certain folder. And it goes really fast. So I'm now going to switch over to my camera. And there we go. 
and I'm gonna let you guys see what my desktop sees. So if you can zoom in here on the week. And I'm just gonna make a picture of any week very quickly. There we go. And you can see that in within seconds, the image is actually uploaded and shown on my screen. In other words, you can couple this to Capture One or Lightroom or any other software you use for a hot folder. And during workshops or whatever you want to do with your iPhone, you can actually beam these images to your Synology NAS. And from the Synology, it will actually go straight into your computer. So that's all for wireless tethering for today. And again, this will be a will be continued one because we are actually, as soon as the TP-Link router comes in, we'll start experimenting with that. And if we get that working, we have a rock solid solution for tethering with your Sony A7R or any other Sony. And we have something else. Do you see this? This is our new Why Fake It When You Can Create It mug. And let me switch to that camera to show it even better. There we go. And you can order these now from our website. So www.frankdorov.com. And we have some really cool backsides here, learning with Frank. And the Why Fake It when you can create it. Great gift. And well, we call it the Why Fake It mug. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. And remember that next week we have a long episode of Digital Classroom again with our model Lena. And that one's going to be awesome. So see you there. Thank you for watching.